Hey guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to my review of the first two episodes of Star Wars Ahsoka. A show that I was praying for the love of God to be good because Star Wars has just been letting me down lately. Letting a lot of people down, honestly. <laughs> Except the video games. Love the video games, man. Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, done very well, but... Man, these shows, man, they're just so hit and miss. Like, The Mandalorian was so amazing, and then Season 3, what the fuck was that? And then Obi-Wan Kenobi, and The Book of Boba Fett, and just, ugh. The best thing was, was all these animated stuff. Like, as much as The Bad Batch was just okay, Rebels is amazing, Tales from the Star Wars, Tales from the, is Tales from the Star Wars, Tales from the Jedi, something like that. Those are great. Uh, I think Star Wars is just so, like, crazy up in the air because you know disney disney does what they do it's all about the money and stuff but dave filoni i've always had faith in dave filoni but even he is going in weird directions and stuff and i'm just like i don't know as much as i love you dave filoni and john favreau I, I just don't know what clear goal you're trying to do with some of these stories and characters however but ahsoka the trailer for ahsoka looked really awesome so i was i was gonna of course give the show a watch because i like that looks pretty cool. And I think Rosario Dawson does a good job playing Ahsoka. Like, she's been Ahsoka throughout The Mandalorian and a couple of episodes of Booga Booga Fett as well. Um, I think she does a good job. I think she's a pretty solid choice. Um, all right. So <laughs> it's going to be a little weird to talk about this. Like, I, I guess I go into spoilers. Why the fuck not, right? Well, why, why, why else would you be uh, watching this if you didn't want me to talk about some spoilers? Uh, if you don't want any spoilers, all I gotta say is it's a pretty decent first two episodes, and check them out. Easily. Check them out. Go check it out. I recommend. Which is me saying something, because I usually know within the first two episodes if I'm gonna like the show or not. Because I was very blunt with Obi-Wan Kenobi. I even said in my video that after those first two episodes, I'm like, this show is gonna suck. Unless they really change something, which they didn't. This show is going to blow. Even first two episodes of season three of Mandalorian, I'm like, I don't know what they're doing. I don't like what they're doing. I don't know. <laughs> and then Bug Above Fit, same thing. Same thing. Like, I know in the first two episodes, usually, if I'm going to enjoy the show. I enjoy Ahsoka. The, the, this Ahsoka show. I really enjoyed Rosera Dawson. Um, Balon, Balon and Shin... The antagonists of the show are the show stealers. I think they're fantastic. Ray Stevenson is awesome. Um, I wish I got more of Balon and Shin. Man, I, I can watch a whole show just about the two of them. I really enjoy them. I like what they're setting out to do, and I like their purpose, and I understand them a lot as characters. I think they were the best so far in these first two episodes. I wish, again, there was more of them, but there's going to be more of them, obviously, in the next few episodes. But Balon and Shin were great. I really enjoyed them. And again, Rosario Dawson is a great Ahsoka, and she is solid in the first two episodes. And then we get Rebels characters like Sabine and Captain Hera, or General Hera now. Hera is not very big. It's a lot of Sabine. It's Sabine and Ahsoka. The heart and soul I think they're going for in this show is the friendship and the bond between Ahsoka and Sabine, which is interesting. Because in Rebels, they didn't really talk a lot. In Rebels, Ahsoka was mostly, like, she mostly was close with Ezra and Kanan. And probably she even had more conversations with Seb and Hera than Sabine. But I don't know. I guess they're trying something different. Kind of like a, a Padawan master relationship. Um, obviously, they're going with it that Sabine is, like, Force-sensitive and stuff. She's not just a Mandalorian. She's a Jedi Knight. Um, I think the actress who plays Sabine and is, is good, and I think their friendship does work very well in the first two episodes. I think they have good chemistry, uh, Sabine and Ahsoka. I think that's really good. Um, I thought it was a little odd, because I'm like, is that what they're doing? Interesting. I, 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 I love Hera. Hera is such a great character, and I don't know, just Hera in this first couple of episodes, I'm like... She doesn't feel like Hera to me. I don't know what, what they did with her. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like Hera. But I don't know. But anyways. I'm going to talk about the positives. I do have some nitpicks. I have some gripes with this show so far. And I know people don't like nitpicking stuff. But that's what I do. Then just because I nitpick stuff. And I get a little, uh, I get a little 
passionate with my conversation about some of the stuff. I love Star Wars, so I, I, I like to talk about stuff that I don't like sometimes. And it doesn't mean I hate the show, and it doesn't mean the show's terrible, so forgive me. But I have some gripes with the show so far. But again, it's a good show. So far, it's so good. So far, so good. So there you go. That's <laughs> it's, it's fine. Um, the stuff I really enjoyed again was Ahsoka, Sabine. The performances are great. I love the antagonist. The score was really good. Visuals are fantastic. I love that there's like a story about them going to another galaxy and stuff. That's kind of cool and unique idea. This is more of a simplistic story, and I'm all for simplistic storytelling. So that's great. Um, all right, let's go with my little, my, my little gripes. My gripes about the show in general is, this is probably not a flaw for anybody, actually. I guess this is just a me thing. I think the show is almost, like, too, it's almost, like, too much for the Star Wars fans. I don't know if you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's almost too much for them. Like, if you're not a Star Wars fan, and you're not into some of these shows this is not a show you're gonna enjoy and i don't know i i i find that's an issue because mandalorian was a show even people who didn't like star wars got into that show and wanted to become star wars fans because the mandalorian was so good i feel like they could have done that with ahsoka really um but the show just it, it's not even just really a, an ahsoka show it's a sequel to rebels and I loved Rebels. Rebels is a great show. But again, if you've not watched Rebels, then you're going to be very confused and lost in a lot of situations. And I think that is an issue. And I know everyone's like, well, oh, this is for Star Wars fans. But I'm like, I know, but I feel like you need... It's supposed to be a standalone show. It, it has to be a show that stands on its own and not relying on previous Star Wars projects. Like, it, it, Ahsoka, the show, should stand on its own and be its own thing. I don't think it has to be a sequel to Rebels. Like, you could have Rebels characters, you could have all this stuff, but I, I wanted the show to stand on its own and not rely on stuff from other past projects. Like, I, that was my issue with, like, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. You had to watch, like, WandaVision, What If, Endgame, and all this stuff to watch that movie to understand it. And it's a sequel to Doctor Strange. You should have only watched the first Doctor Strange movie to watch the sequel. Because it's a sequel to the one movie. But I know everyone's like, oh, it's part of a big franchise. I don't like, honestly, that's what makes it conjulted and people lose interest. People like movies and shows that stand on their own two feet and not relying on past projects. Or future projects to make it good. I honestly would have began the show. This is how I would have began. I would have began the show as a, like a 15 minute montage of Ahsoka's life. Like I know they've done that in the animated sh in previous animated shows. Like the Tales from the Jedi and um, Clone Wars and stuff. But there are people who have never seen those shows. And watched the animated stuff. And I'm not saying you could dedicate the first two episodes of Ahsoka's backstory. I'm not saying that. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, you can do a great 15 minute montage about everything you need to know about Ahsoka. Because there's going to be people who watch the show who don't know much about Ahsoka. Maybe they're just like, oh, I saw her in The Mandalorian. She looks like a cool character. Let's watch a whole show about her. But then they're going to watch the show and be like, wait, I'm lost. Wait, what? Who are these people? <laughs> like, there's going to be people like that. Like, I feel like if you would have just made like a, or maybe the first half of the first episode about Ahsoka, like her as a kid growing up, montage with her and Anakin, training with Anakin Skywalker, fighting during the Clone Wars, uh, clips of Rebels, which you can show Sabine and Hera, it would make people understand her character, these other characters, and I, I just I feel like it would get more people invested, and I think Star Wars fans would like that too, to see all the great stuff from the animated shows in live action. That would have been really cool to see. I want to see like a her and Anakin training together in live action. I don't know if we're going to get that, but I would love to see that. That sounds wicked. Like, I think that's how they should have started the show. It would have instantly got people new to the show, attached to the character of Ahsoka, and people who already are attached to Ahsoka get to see the cool stuff in live action form that we always wanted to see. I know everyone is so impatient. They just want the show to start and just get going and stuff. Like, hey, I'm a Star Wars fan, so I just want to start and keep going and stuff. You keep flowing. That's what Dave Filoni does. And that's what he wants to do. Just keep going, going, going. Just keep moving and stuff. But I'm like, sometimes you need to slow your boat. Slow your roads. 
There's going to be people who are going to watch the show who don't know Ahsoka as a character. I love Ahsoka as a character, but I would love to see stuff in live action that could have gotten more people invested and got people to get attached to this character who are not very familiar with her story. I think that was a missed opportunity. I know a lot of people are going to very much disagree with me, but that's just the way I would have done it. Sorry. All right. <laughs> what else did I have? My That was my big gripe, I guess. Uh, another huge gripe, uh, and this is a going into spoilers. Like, there are some badass lightsaber duels. I'll admit, with Ahsoka and with Shin and Sabine. But what what is with stabbing people in the stomach? I'm just, I gotta bring this shit up. So Shin and Sabine into this fight, and then she stabs her in the stomach, and then she lives and stuff. And I'm like, why do they keep doing this? Apparently, Qui Gon Jinn's the only one that dies by getting stabbed in the stomach. <laughs> There's other people who die, like um, what's her name? Shakti. She she died by Grievous getting stabbed in the back. Like, I don't know. I, I just I I like. Do you know how many organs like you? A lightsaber is like literally melting your organs going through you. It burns a hole. You're dead. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> like. All just everyone getting stabbed in the stomach and living from it is ridiculous. It's almost becoming like a meme now. It's just really stupid. I don't know why they keep doing that. It annoys me every time when they did it in Obi Wan twice, and now they're doing it. And this was Sabine. Like, if you want Sabine to get injured, like chop her hand off or something. Like a real injury. Like when Anakin got his arm ripped off and just burns through. That's it. Like, or is it the hand? Or like, like burn her face with the lightsaber. Just something cool, but it's always stab in the stomach. <laughs> like, why do they keep? I hate that they keep doing that. It. I know it's a little thing, but it, it's it drives me nuts. So I'm like, stop, stop doing that. <laughs> oh my god. Um, other nitpicks. There is again, just like it feels more like a sequel to Rebels than an actual standalone Ahsoka show. And I don't know if that's supposed to be like a, a is that a nitpick or not? I don't know. Like that could be a compliment. But then they should have just called the show Star Wars Rebels Ahsoka. But it's called Star Wars Ahsoka. So I was expecting just a story about her, but no, it's a sequel to Rebels. And I got I'm not complaining about that because I love Rebels and I love seeing Hera and Sabine again. But I don't know, I just I thought the show would have been just mostly about Ahsoka, her story, and maybe go into more of her backstory that even us, we haven't even seen stuff, so I don't know. I feel like there was a lot of missed opportunity with these first two episodes to really grab us into the story and really gravitate us towards the character of Ahsoka. So I still think it was a decent first two episodes, good action, good antagonist, good uh, seeing some callbacks to Rebels and all that stuff. I think it was good. I really enjoyed my time with the first two episodes. I can't wait for episode three. I just think there was some missed opportunities and there was some nitpicks that were bothering me. So, and it's definitely not a show if you're not into all the shows and haven't watched Rebels. It's definitely not a show you probably could get into, sadly. So, that was my little rant, I guess, about the first two episodes of Ahsoka. Hey, I'm not shitting on it. Come on, guys. Like, you can give me that. Like, I know I've shit on a lot of Star Wars projects like Book of Boba Fett and Mandalorian Season 3 and Obi-Wan. But I'm actually positive about this one, so... Keep it up. <laughs> and yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Please tell me what was your thoughts and opinions on the first two episodes of Ahsoka. And what is your favorite moment so far? Comment below, let me know. And as always, like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel. And join the dark side.